LabVIEW, NXT, and Tetrix, Part 1, Tetrix Motors. So the motors for the Tetrix robots are going to be a little bit different than the NXT IO ones. You will use different blocks. You will go to the Tetrix palette, and let's try out the Tetrix DC motors block. You see it has three options from the pull-down menu. Let's try out the move DC motor, just one motor create a constant we need to give it the motor ID number make sure you follow the instructions in your Tetric kit for hooking everything up then you need to figure out the motor configuration number for each of your motors and servos these are four digit numbers the first number is the port coming off the brick the second number is which controller you are working off of. The third number is the number of your motor or channel of your servo. And the last number is whether or not you want it to go in reverse. Motor configurations can get very confusing, so it's very smart to maybe tape the numbers to the motors so that you don't have to figure them out over and over. All right, now let's give our block a speed. It goes anywhere from negative 100 to 100. Negatives will make it go backwards, and 100 would be obviously the fastest. Let's tell it to run for a certain amount of time by putting a wait for time block, wait for maybe two seconds. And after two seconds, let's tell the motor to stop. So use that same DC motor move, connect the motor number and then give it a speed of zero. Make sure you save your work. And that's it. That should make it move the motor for two seconds. Since I'm only using one motor it turns in a circle. In multiple motors at the same speed so we're going to choose move DC motors group. When you do this you won't give one motor to the blocks, you're going to give an array of multiple motors. So create a constant, resize the array so that we can see what we're putting in. You need to give the motor configuration number, those four digits for all of the motors that you want to turn. In this case, I'm driving, so I only need two motors. and that is it now we can test it out both motors are going to move at the same power of 75 all right one last option to try move DC motors multi this will allow us to give multiple powers to different motors. We're going to have to create arrays to give that information. This will allow us to make robots that turn since the wheels will be going at different powers. The first motor in the list will go with the first power in the list. The second motor will go with the second power. This is how we're going to make our robots turn. And that's it. Let's try it out. Your challenge is to write a program that will drive a Tetrix robot in a square.